Jenna from East Village Acupuncture and Massage and today I'm going to be going over with you the benefits of moxibustion and how to properly use pole moxa. But before I do that, make sure you guys go ahead and hit the subscribe button so that you'll be notified when more videos come out. Moxibustion or moxa is a therapeutic healing technique which originated in ancient China. The practice involves burning medicinal herbs over specific acupuncture points or areas of pain in order to warm and heal specific conditions. The type of moxa that we recommend in our clinic is pole moxa. The pole moxa can get a little bit smoky, so make sure that you're burning this in a well-ventilated area. So the things that you're going to need are pole moxa stick, which usually go for about a dollar or two when sold separately, a lighter, and some foil. Before I go over with you how to properly do moxibustion, I'm just going to be going over the point that we're going to be using to do the moxibustion on. The point's called stomach 36 and it's located three fingers below the lateral side of the patella. Once you place your three fingers, you'll go over to the lateral side of the patella and bring your finger down to where the ring finger was. You'll slip into a little bit of a depression and the point will also be a little bit tender, which is how you'll know that that's the correct point. It's said that daily use of moxibustion on stomach 36 helps to increase one's vitality and longevity. Some of the point's actions and indications are known to help stimulate the immune system, enhance digestion, regulate chi, and disperse stagnation. Before we get the moxa lit, we're going to be making an extinguisher out of aluminum foil. So first, get a square piece of foil and fold it in half and continuously fold it in half until you make a small square. Next, start folding up the sides, the first side. Continue folding them up all the way around. Try to make them a little bit high because you want it so that the moxa fits in there and will actually put out the fire. So you're kind of making just like a little cup for the, for the moxa. You can keep putting your moxa pole in and forming it around just to make sure it's at the proper width. It doesn't have to be anything special. Again, we're just making sure we have somewhere to put the fire out when we're done using the moxa. Mine came out a little bit like this. Deep enough so that an inch of the moxa is there, sturdy. And the next thing we're going to do is push up the moxa about an inch of the moxa showing and the paper is down. We'll be lighting the moxa. Okay. Lighting the moxa's tip. And remember, there's a lot of smoke that's going to come out of this and so make sure you're doing this in a well ventilated area. Okay, so start to blow on the moxa so that the tip is lit. Might have to light it a little bit more. So that's all around the edges. You want to see that orange ember all around, or at least on half of the moxa. So that's good right there. So you can see after I blow it, about half is lit. So what we're going to do is about half an inch from your skin, you'll put the moxa on stomach 36. Start doing like little circles around the point. You can put the, the moxa a little bit closer to your skin if you don't feel it yet, but just make sure you're keeping in mind when you feel the heat. When you feel it a little bit, that's just enough. Starts to get too hot, pull a little bit away. Do kind of like a pecking and continue the circles. And you'll feel like it, it starts to feel really good. So you wanna do this for a minute on each side. When putting out your moxa, Place the tip of the moxa into the extinguisher for about a minute or two until you see the smoke stop coming out. Take it out to check on it and then just keep leaving it to extinguish it. You can also put sand in a little cup or mason jar and extinguish out the whole moxa that way. Some things to remember when doing moxibustion are never to place the moxa directly on your skin 
and always keep it about an inch unless you can't feel it you can put it a little bit closer but never on your skin for immune support moxibustion on stomach 36 every day for about a minute will be really beneficial moxa can also help with other conditions but it does depend on the condition on which points you should use and for the length of time to do the moxa after your treatment your practitioner will recommend to you which is best for you Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with other wellness fans.